and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Bulldog TV Local News, where we cover Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area, and also state, uh, Kentucky State, Ohio, and Indiana News. Today's lead story, you heard me announce that I received inside information that there might be some shenanigans uh, relative to the VA director at Cincinnati VA Hospital who recently left. Thank you for that information from a very reliable source of somebody working inside the VA. I do want you to know that I received from another friend, somebody who spoke up for that lady said that she's a nice person. So I'm relating that on for what it's worth. However, that person doesn't know whether that's true or not. She just doesn't think that she would be capable of it. But let's face it, that comes up all the time. Well, thank you Bulldog Nation for feeding me information. Today's lead story questions why did the NKU president recently leave? And I'm gonna to read to you what was sent to me. I work for Northern Kentucky University and have been for the almost 26 years. Recently, you probably learned that the president of the university is leaving, but the whole story is that the new CFO discovered $28 million missing. They gave the president over a million dollar severance package, probably to keep his mouth shut. If you have a good investigative reporter, I would look into it. I do. It pisses me off because we went over eight years with no raises. The last year they raised the bottom and middle substantially and the people that had been there longest got the scraps. I've seen so much waste over the years. So, I know local news checks me out. So between my team and the local news team, let's find out. Did the new CFO find $28 million missing at NKU? I'm asking the question. Long crime. A Pierce Township man is de dead after being found in a shipping crate near his home. Kenneth Eva was discovered in the container by his fiance. He was bleeding and unresponsive. The woman tried CPR, but paramedics pronounced him dead when they arrived. Police described the death as not natural and ruled it a homicide. No further details. Austin Combs is currently in custody for shooting and killing his neighbor in Okina. Combs shot the man on November 5th while doing yard work, apparently over political differences. Attorneys for Combs won a monitored or home arrest situation while mounting their defense. Lawyers hope to keep Combs at home for medical reasons, including, you ready for this? Irregular bowel movements. I want you to know that cells in jails have toilets. A Boone County man, Michael Aseppi, was arrested yesterday and charged for sexually assaulting a teenager. Investigations revealed provided alcohol and marijuana to the victim on multiple occasions. Three counts of rapes and sodomy, two counts of unlawful transactions with a minor. I am the only candidate for governor who wants the death penalty for those situations. He destroys a life, his life's gotta go. Local news, four candidates remain to become the next chief of the Cincinnati Police Department. Those candidates include Larry Boone, Todd Chamberlain, Lisa Davis, and Teresa Fici, who is the current interim police chief. I once knew somebody, his last name Fici, I wonder if they're related. Uh, the Walton Vernon School District has experienced significant growth over the past 20 years. The school board has approved an intermediate school to help with limited space at the elementary level. The new school will house fourth and fifth graders for now, but will allow for an expansion possibilities. Bill Boyle, my good buddy, was the principal and then the superintendent over there, and he laid a very good groundwork. Kentucky State News, the reigning Miss Kentucky, Hannah Edelin, is a former Holmes Middle School teacher in Covington. Hannah hasn't forgotten her roots as she's made Kentucky education a platform she concentrates on. She even recently been elected to the Covington School Board and will serve a four-year term. I look forward to working with her as the governor. Kentucky officials are obligated to audit election results for 12 counties in the recent midterms. A recent bill was passed in Kentucky to include 12 counties in the audit, up from six before the bill. Officials hope the more in-depth audit will help ensure election integrity within the state. Ohio State News. According to Ohio State Police data, 16 people died in crashes across the state during the recent holiday week. What? Unfortunately, 25% of those happened in southern Ohio in places like Warren County, Clinton, and Cincinnati. According to police, most of those killed were not wearing their seatbelts. Sad, sad, sad. An Ohio Senate committee met this week to jumpstart gun control reforms. 
The Republican bloc bill calls for better background checks and a million dollars for mental health programs. The original bill did include a red flag provision, but that portion was taken out. In sports, two more Cincinnati Reds will join Bronson Aurora in a 2023 Reds Hall of Fame. Reds all-time saves leader Danny Graves and 1950s general manager Gabe Paul. But the real news is the United States beat the terrorists from Iran yesterday. I'm not calling the players. I feel bad for the players, but we know it's a terrorist country. One to nothing. And England barely got by Wales. Just squeaked it out at the end. Three to nothing. <laughs> I have to tease my Brit friend Jamie Spinley a little bit about that. Let's hope we meet England again, not tie. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.